Let's go. Fight. I don't know why I'm in a cheery mood. I don't know if that's probably Gemini's y'all mood to where y'all like. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Y'all probably around her chanting or cheering or just in a happy type jolly mood. I like it. I like it though. Stay that way. It's hard to tell somebody to stay that way. But I'm saying stay there. Don't budge. Sit in it. Revel in it for a minute. Protect it. Protected. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> oh, my bad. This is the last show. I'm thinking about something mentally. I don't know. Shit, I share with my partner. I'm just there tripping off this reading. I'm sorry, y'all. What card is that? We might take it. The lamb. This is the song that does it in, and it goes on and on, my friend. And if we started singing, and I knew it wouldn't end. My bad. Some of y'all may be having some encounters with a clairvoyant being or a prophetic type person. Ooh, girl, I ain't wanna see that hyena card. This is the song that does it in, and it goes on and. And if we started singing and I knew it wouldn't end. Every time I see that up. What do you see? <laughs> Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. I'm just playing. That's weird. That's the song that's in my head. Look what I got. <laughs> you got uh the lamb the, i say you may be coming in contact with some type of prophetic being or a sense of divinity of wholeness or somebody that's very clairvoyant somebody may be trying to deliver a message to you or you may be trying to channel it in some type of sacred type space why am i moving this car in some type of sacred space but you have the hyena could be around certain people that you are with or situations about the emotions or the aspect of certain things because this is the look what i got this is a apex person right there. this is an apex situation but it's also air as well boom then you got um no then you got the swan here that's what what do you see when you look at it who is that girl I see staring straight all right i'm stop but this is that swan what do you see this is the two sides of self this is the gemini energy like how could you hone in pull those senses to two to be able to see a reflection of one but be able to get to two this is trying to put two counterparts together within yourself to be able to get one it's like it's two people right no it's one person but it's two sides or just two parts the shadow the light the dark the whole perspective of meshing it into one to when you look in the mirror the only reflection is the one that you want to see but you got the unicorn though so if you are into some type of spiritual concept or whatever the case may be yo third eye may be blocked i'm not reading y'all no cards because i just read these so that's exactly what they is <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is why i'm not reading it this is when it come to you your higher self divinity seeing clear third eye whatever it is because this does give me like some trippy experience so is y'all on some asses or something like that i just had to say that please whatever just floats your boat but this is somebody that's on like some asses some shroom some trippy like experience uh life light that's where it's the song that where it felt very jolly coming into but it's the hyena spirit so it may be the people that you may be around like watch that i want to say that though that's making like you know like i don't know where it's coming from but listen i don't know if you see when it comes to you and your happiness with certain people about the comments or certain things they make pay attention to them slick ass hating ass comments i don't know where the fuck they came from and i got real sassy pay attention to that 
the dragon this is the root so that's why i said it's old connections old people old situations that you are tethered to it could be the old you or this how people could see you this is the fire that they breathe to burn or situations or to cause a sense of chaos that's why i said it's like where you were where you used to go who you used to be like this like watch that shit because there's some hating ass people on the rise i don't know where the fuck that came from all right so this is the song that does in it we're gonna use these again and it goes on and on my friends and we can start a singing let me move it out the way because if this car fly the fuck over y'all gotta hear my ass <clears throat> <laughs> to bend over one more time. I ain't got the plastics on, but I told you it was a tick. I ain't even number like two slices of pizza though. I feel like I got a shit though. This is so impersonal. You guys, hi. This is so impersonal. Oh well. Get with it. But um, yes, that's what I said. Watch it though. It's some people that have like some slick ass comments, or you may be that person that makes slick ass comments, or whatever the case may be, because you can't see what it is. So it's kind of like, say, for instance, if you and somebody was on bad terms, y'all got back on good terms, somebody gonna have something to say. Like, watch that, and don't let this sense of negativity feed you to where it puts you in the mirror to where the reflection you see is not one that you really want to see. Is that making sense? Go with it. Anywho, but that's what it is. And then, too, it's kind of like some perspective of another person to where you're able to recognize, like, you don't have to be around it because it's your uh, third eye, or even if you're not conscious or whatever the case may be, or just your physical eye when it comes to certain things, your horn, the unicorn, the light of happiness, you're trying to protect and keep this sense of happiness, but at the same time, the energy is giving me, though, it's kind of like, that same horn that's on top of the unicorn is gonna it's gonna get to the point where you're gonna be like, I eat now. Well you're gonna be ready to stick somebody with it. So that's why I was like, watch that. Because you may be in a jolly happy mood, and especially if you suffer with any type of mental illness. People never pay attention to that when they on the rise. So it could be the possibility of the trippy experiences, taking substances, whatever the case may be, trying to alleviate some sense of mental chaos. Pay attention to that though, how people act. When you bounce back out of those depressing type situations or just being low or rekindling. I'm saying it just gives me like rekindling with something, someone, something. And the unicorn, that type space that you're in, you don't see it because of your roots that you have with these people. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's go with it. This is the song that does it. That's probably y'all ass. Like, okay, bitch. I'm like, okay, cool. we'll see. End of the month, you're around here cussing bitches out. <laughs> Think of ones. You know what I mean? That's why I said, This is the song that does it. And it goes on and on. And it was started singing, and I knew it wouldn't end. Da 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 da. Yeah, watch that. That was gonna suck. Ooh, there you go. Yes. Wait a minute. Eight of Pentacles. That's why I said watch it. Watch it. If you have been feeling like mentally trapped or in some type of seclusion or you have been feeling stuck, not knowing. I know this fucked up because air signs really don't like to show their emotions, especially paired with a fire sign. Be mindful. Like you hear me say, this martyr type bullshit that you may be helping people with situations that it goes into the Six of Pentacles where people end up abusing you or using you and then it turns into you taking the same unicorn, the horn, to say, okay, I'm happy, and then sticking the shit out of somebody else with it. So, yeah, I don't know where the fuck that's coming from. I ain't never had a read like that before. It's new. Six of Cups, like I said, somebody from the past in some situation, or it could be you in those type of situations, could be sour. So it could be either way, it doesn't always have to be, it could be somebody sour about something you got or something sour that they do not got. So watch that though. And you're kind of like, okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's the Ace of Wands. So I said, we don't see. This is the song that doesn't, I cannot get it out of my head. But I'm telling you, that's how it probably feels with y'all. Y'all probably like, okay, bitch. And then just go, going right back to the same thing. It's like, okay, well, you're going to be right. <laughs> or you may be doing that, not noticing when it comes to other people. When they're talking, you may be talking over them in that moment. Or you may not listen to them. Or you may chime in like in moments when they're saying something. And you like, you know, you got your AirPods in. you like, what you say? And then you take it out and put it right back in. Instead of just being active in that conversation or saying, or actually communicating. Saying, I don't want to talk about this right now. This is the song that, to keep that happiness. 
dad does in it, and it goes on and on, my friend. And if it started singing it, all right, I'm stop y'all. That's y'all is doing it. Yeah, this the hangman. This is the song that does in it. Oh, I said that though. Let me get three more. Let me get three more cards. Three more cards. Let me get three more cards. Damn. She in here throwing all my goddamn fucking energy trying to concoct some shit. Page of Wands. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm about to be the one that turned real rough with the magic. <laughs> Page of Swords. That's that pettiness. That's why I said watch out for that with others and with yourself in this season. That's why I said it was a reason why that was coming out. Now back to the reading and being honest and clear and sure and communicating. Boom. So, because you got this Eight of Swords, it's like you being the martyr or getting caught up in some situation or some emotional trap. I know you're looking for some sense of vulnerability or understanding or for some personal or some sense of travel or boredom. Watch where the hell you going or hanging with certain people or substances. This is what I want to say. This is the King of Swords. He's not thinking clearly. Like, in this moment, like, logic is all off the table and it's just trying to be a sense of free. Like I said, somebody could be on the verge of a manic episode and do not know it. Or it could just be, uh, it could, doesn't have to be you. This could be somebody else's energy because people think um the eeyore spirit where you don't know how to clock it and somebody could be depressive or going through some sort and you about to see the meltdown of them in front of and instead of saying oh shit and being in a judgy type space and not really ready for it and you say for if you don't have a mental illness you know somebody who got a mental illness and at the same time you see them do shit to where you're more judgy about it and it doesn't have to be a mental illness or a person who gets caught up in their own way you can pay attention to the signs to where you don't have to come in and be like okay i got you to over time to where you feel like you're abused damn that's a lot why am i talking so fast <laughs> shit the magician <laughs> yeah that's what i said this is a magician Somebody needs to take a break. They they running too hard. They doing too much. That's why I need to say, it's just the sun. Like it, I'm saying, it's like this good vibes, and they just want to run off for sure. It's like somebody doing too much. Sit down. Like I can't even focus. Uh, King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. That's what's it's very risky when it comes to money or situations of people asking for certain things at this moment. I don't know if it's not some. If you're trying to build somebody or trying to talk somebody out of some money. I'm not doing that. If it do come up, we'll talk about that. But um, this just gets me personal. Like, it's just something that is like a new start with this Ace of Wands. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just feels great. And I'm just over here like, this is the song, Dad. So it's kind of like somebody, they bad timing. And you not knowing that this is the way they are. And you going in to rescue them or not living in your sense of happiness or enjoying what it is or recognizing your own triggers and shit like that to the point where it's going to cause you to go. Boom. That's why I said, watch this shit. Because this is the page of wands. Okay, I don't see no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Put it down. Put it away. Step the fuck away. <laughs> Please. In this moment, take some time to enjoy. Because you got six of cups. This is somebody you hear me say with a mission. Oh, I told y'all how I hit it as this. Didn't I tell y'all this? Um, was it March? It was March or it was March or February. If I don't know if y'all remember. It probably was January, but it probably was last year. I'm thinking so. I said, I was like, y'all got some people that's going to come right back around you. And they showed they ass on who they were and you ain't paid attention to it. I was like, so because of this newness or people living in this sense of COVID life, you ain't going to know who to compartmentalize, who is on your side. So you're going to push that behavior off on them. But this is the hang, this is the hangman and the you're going to ostracize the wrong person because of this person, this eight of wands being stuck, the victim. Oh, you may be saying, I'm a victim of this or da 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 like that's why I said that's there. That's gonna be the unicorn gonna stab shit out of somebody. Not sound like you physically gonna stab somebody. It could be emotionally stabbing them. Like, leave me alone. All right, anywho, but you got the hangman and the will of fortune. You hear me say this is here. Um, just trying to be on good time and like you hear me say, there's two different sides. Can you see the other one? Can you see it? Like, look at that. That is the top. It blends in so well. Like, that is a Gemini energy. Sometimes you go into just trying to be more of a pacifist type energy. And then when the shadow comes out to play, baby, look at that. That is the devil. It kind of gets me. Have you ever seen cow and chicken? 
Anywho, but it's kind of like the devil that used to reap up and he used to slide up and he used to be in them boots and shit. Like, this is what it is. And he used to cause so much chaos. And he used to be so much temptation. So it could be you and both sides. You hear me say this, you, the Knight of Pentacles and not even not knowing it over time. That's why I said it could be you. Could be you or another person, but it's like, yes, yes, here I come. Like, so quick to shed that skin and go back into that behavior. So, okay. So, so we're going to see. Ooh, Emperor. Yes, yes. This ain't got no patience. Oh, if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Emperor and the Seven of Swords, like, this is a... Ooh I'm trying to stay focused, and we're going to cut this read off. And we're going to keep it focused. This Emperor and the Seven of Swords has to be truthful about this sense of whole things. Like, it has to be honest and accountable in the sense of... I don't know if somebody's forcing somebody to or be honest about this, though. But they have to be honest about their own emotional locked-in of situation. This is where you hear me say this person that has the E or spirit are always being sad and quick to tear others down with them. Or they're just, like, rain on your parade where you witness this is the song that doesn't... Like, that's the energy of the person. So when it comes to this, where you hear me say not knowing how to manage the two, this is where it quickly flips to the emperor to where it's like, bitch, I right, now I'm finna stick you with my unicorn. You thought I was a smiling unicorn. I'm gonna show you who's psychotic. That type of thing. So it's kind of like when to lose control or sense of patience or dealing with matters of control. Because you hear me say money, power, fame equals an entitled sense of respect to where people when they get in authoritative positions or they feel higher than other people they do things that they really uh should not do because it's a sense of free will of feeling higher than other people and they don't never want to be honest about it so it's like when they change a walk of life or walking into a sense of new faithness or newness nobody never wants to be honest about the demons of their past shit i hated that so that's why i said the e or spirit a person who's just constantly Okay, nine of pentacles the eight of cups and the two of wands that's why i said it's kind of like this like this interest of certain things for you if it's a newness or a sense of path being able to appreciate or establish or creating some sense of new ground rules of doing things that you possibly don't do no more but it's this fear of indecision when it comes to you being emotional cognitive to be able to say this is what i want this is what i need and this is decisions that i need to make for me but it's like somebody's emotions is keeping them in a state of fear like, you know, if you're choosing something for you to be selfish or selfless in those type of moments, somebody's like stuck. Somebody's stuck. So it keeps them in a position to where um, you could be your own e or spirit to where it's kind of like, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to knock your cups over. Fuck this. Fuck the dog. Fuck the couch. Like, you see, I'm just getting real disrespectful. It's this type of energy. But then it goes back to, you hear me say in the beginning, this is a person where you hear me say you're in a jolly mood. And it's kind of like every time maybe you're happy, they're sad. And it's like, what the fuck? And it's kind of like they could never be happy for you. And then, too, be mindful because some of those friends, you hear me say you don't know when it comes to people or situations, the truth of how they can give you a sense of truth because it's if a repetitive situation with something or someone, which is the hangman and the sense of cuffs, somebody's just trying to shed you some sense of truth. This is the song that does it and I think it's what it is. You probably ain't listening to the truth. That's why I keep saying, every time something truthful come out, I keep singing, this is the song that, you don't know how to receive it. Or somebody does, or you're not prepared to hear it. Like, that's where that emotional accountability is, like trying to take a look within. So it's like that hunkadery, Piscean energy. Just, okay, all right. And then just keep it moving. And it's the song that does it. Because if you actually make the decision that you need to, to make, and this has something to do with control of you and authoritative positions because of the past that's why the is this the song how it keeps kicking in because every time when the truth comes out you kind of like okay well let me just say this to avoid it it'll go away it'll go away like that type of thing instead of just saying okay you know and then sometimes it's not people of the bees for certain things that goes on don't know queen of cups this is the song that, and I don't want to feel this guilt. That's all I got to say. Should have been done in the first place. But, um, uh -huh. 
And it was started singing and I knew it wouldn't end. I'm trying to get this to the Ten of Cups. There it is. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This some it has to do something with a control or a situation or a dynamic over situ people, money, financial institutes or a group or a work related type of situation. Something with the dynamic of repetitive instances with people and situations. So somebody is so accustomed with doing this, so they feel like they can pick up this behavior with doing this and repeating this to someone else. Ooh, this this story is really turning. The first group where you hear me say, I guess that was just y'all reading where you hear me say, some people going to come around trying to give you this pity party because they going through a pity party. And this may be you looking and viewing through this. So you kind of probably just, this is the song to keep from going down that road. The other part, you hear me say, this is a group or a collective of individuals and it's Ten of Pentacles energy, work-related or financially type individuals where you hear me say money, fame, astute Ooh, situations where this emperor, you hear me say, lost the control of power to where they possibly emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever it is when it comes down to a sense of this abusive type nature because you got emperor and the seven of swords right here. Then you got the nine of pentacles, but it's the emotional accountability with self. So if you was in a, a situation of control or had some control to change the situation, you did not. This is the king of cups energy. So taking on that energy and accountability of honesty, somebody's more like, this is the song that doesn't end. So that's where the hyena spirit come in to where it's kind of like diluting it. Diluting the self-reflection, diluting the unicorn where it's purposely blocking itself from seeing a sense of truth. Yes. Because I'm telling you, this is the song that does it. Four Pentacles. And it holding, withholding, keeping something. Somebody keeping something hostage. This is the song. Five of Pentacles. Yep. This is the song that does it. In. Five of Pentacles, and this is a justice. This is unfairness. This is a situation that was wrong biased unclear. This is like karmic debt that is reaping. Somebody is holding on to this sense of hurt, pain, deceit. Somebody's holding on to that. This is the song that does in I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm, like, I'm not trying to sing this song. This is the Nine of Cups energy. This is like wish fulfillment. Like somebody's wishing bad onto someone. But it's kind of like if you're trying to be in a sense of karma or trying to fix something or recorrect something. It's like first start with the identity with the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror to say, okay, this is this. And then be able to push forward so you can know how to be able to work out to be your own inner justice. Right? So it could be able to fix, not sit and wait impatiently for someone to say, yes, yes. Like, and just saying, let me fix it. And it, Ten of Cups energy. You got the star, three of swords. You got three of cups and the three of wands. I'm sorry, y'all. This, this message may not hit. I'm about to change it, though. When she put, she, she was changing energy in the house. I tell y'all how and woo. That I said we gonna get back to the reading though. Uh, we finna get back to it real quick. I'm sorry y'all. Star <laughs> three of cups and the three of wands. Like this here, like being unhappy about. So it's kind of like if you was in a group of people where people talked about you. It's kind of like now you in a situation where you're talked about. Like you know you be around those people where you hear me say this is the mean girls. This is the the the. This is giving me mean girls. You know how like when Liz Lohan first came into the picture and she was awkward and she was trying to fit in or she wasn't fitting in. She was just trying to be socially, emotionally accepted. So with her being around him over time, she's seen Regina George do so much. So she stored how this and she took down Regina George whole thing. Like that type of energy. That's what it is. That's why I said it's a personal situation that's coming around. So if you have changed or trying to recorrect some sort of situation that's going on in your life, this is a person that's bringing you a sense of unhappiness because they're not emotionally fulfilled. Like this is where somebody's like, fuck your, I don't care about your celebration and they moving on because misery loves company. Ten of Cups, the Four, and the Queen of Swords. This is somebody who loves misery. 
This is the song that does it in. Somebody little misery. Secretly, though. Like, somebody secretly loved this, though. But in the meantime, though, because you hear me talk about the main girl type tactics, if you was the main girl, be mindful when you hear me say you clicking up and rolling around in links with certain people, whatever, because people hold on a certain pain, and you may not recognize it because it's nine of pentacles. You may not know because the emotions are not being displayed to you, or you may, like, emotionally be avoiding it. So when it comes to the decision-making, when it comes to this personal situation, because you hear me say being psychically blocked from your own actions, that is where this person coming in to steal your thunder. And it could be family. Ooh. Or it could be a support group or something around money. Girl, baby, let me tell you. Stay, if you stay in a state of Tennessee, that's all I got to say. Because, baby, these is some... There go that illusions. That seven of cups. You hear me say Atlanta's the new Memphis. Period. That seven of cups is just the illusion of people like, girl, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's passing over like things good. That's why I said, just give me straight up main girl tease. And have y'all ever seen, um, what's that movie where the girl, she want to be a superhero and she got the shit stick. And remember, the people kept fucking with her so much. And her daddy was a superhero, but he ended up dying on a job because the man he ended up getting killed. So she took the shit stick to school when she whipped everybody ass. He gave us like mean girl type tease. And she didn't give a fuck because she kept holding on to it because they kept fucking with her. But her daddy would never let her go whoop their ass. So she kept suppressing with it. So that's why I said, if you was the mean girl mean guy or the person on the high horse somebody coming for you or karma's coming back to give you your own sister dose now if you the person that has changed in this instance where you're trying to live and enjoy your sense a happy moment be mindful because you don't know what energy that this person is bringing with so somebody has like some secret hidden motive that's what it kind of gives me though so it seems like somebody's coming in to relieve some sense of you know a, a turning over a new leaf but at the same time they not like, they not. So, you emotionally are understanding. You don't know how you feel about it. Or somebody don't know how they feel about you or it because somebody's holding on to something. Ooh, child. Cue the music. It's the song that does it. And this is y'all trying to avoid it. Two of Cups. Because you got to be mindful when you're trying to play karma and being fair or you're trying to act right in a sense of justice, especially when it's not receiving the emotional aspect out. Like, it can't be. And especially understanding the shadow, the dark, and light when you understand what's both what's right and wrong or what's socially and morally right for you, your own social constructs outside of the U.S. dynamics of right and wrong and laws, being uh, going to jail and all those different types of things. That's when you can master yourself. But moving past that or whatever, because we on 27 minutes, and this is, woo, this is taking a toll out of me, but it's like, woof. Anywho, but going back to that, that's how you can better understand when it comes to, say, yeah, I'm finna ditch these motherfuckers what it is, but at the same time, if you was the mean girl or the bully or done something malicious in a sense to hurt someone physically, emotionally, all those different types of things somebody or something is coming for you or you are trying to come for it so it just gives me that though so that's why i say if you was a mean person and you were in a happy space now you was an asshole and somebody's like okay it ain't no problem if it's a situation you in somebody not gonna help you be mindful it may not come from the people who you think you do. So this is the Ten of Pentacles, right? So this is the support of people that was in this collective or group that, you know, and this is the four where you may have thought you had resources over time to where you went into the Two of Pentacles energy where you're juggling and you're down to two. Those four, they may not be reliable as they should. This may not be as stable as it should. So it's like going outside of the box. Whew. But I think I told y'all in the reading a long time ago, if it come to family supporting different people and y'all sense of happiness, I was like, hey, y'all got some people returning and coming. We got to figure it out. Five of swords. Like, this is the energy where you better fight. <laughs> like, you're going to have a fight for your life or fight. And it could be a person that's trying to come back around you, even if you say you have changed to try to expose who you are. Yes. Who you were or what you are. The world. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. This is the song that does it in. 
And you be, and I would say be careful because the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is somebody you hear me say that loves. Um, you could be more of a yes. You like me? Look at me. You know, like that type of energy. Like, look at me. Right. And um, the attention seeker. But we all do things to get attention in the inner narcissism so a person knows to prey on it. So it puts you in a position to embarrass you. Ooh, watch that. That's getting me real evil. That's why I said, this is the song that does it. Ace of Pentacles, and this is the Three of Swords. Yes, yes. That's why I said, ooh. And look at that Four of Cups and the Temperance. Yeah. So that's why I said somebody trying to stick it to you or you trying to stick it to somebody else. This went off the deep end. <laughs> this went off the fucking deep end. Hopefully this John hits. Oh shit. Yeah, somebody got some jealousy type issues. This could be family. Sibling rivalry, conflict, drama, money, competition, competing. Ooh -wee. But I'm going to cut this out because I know y'all ain't like to listen. Y'all do what you want to do. And then y'all will be around here trying to coach yourself through saying, This is a song that doesn't end. And it goes on and on, my friend. And if we started singing and I knew it wouldn't end. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Let me see. But I'd be big I'd be very mindful though. Cause you hear me say Gemini, what's that Sagittarius sister sign? But Gemini is the healer of the zodiac. Kind of like that mothering. Needing to get shit done. So it's a very action-based type of energy. So it's like, no, you did this. Come on, come on, come on. Like, you know how your mama come in and she just handing out leaks like that. Just go on here. Don't care. It's whooping everybody. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. It's like, hey, I'm whooping your ass. I'm getting your ass. I'm getting your, like that type of energy. But you got a towel and queen of swords reverse. So that's why I say it. it's kind of like there. Ooh, it's making my stomach hurt. I'm about to hear it up. <laughs> but this is the Queen of Swords in the Tower type moment. It's kind of like one wrong word or situation when it comes to you listening. It could cause some type of rupture or explosion, especially when it comes to a sense of truth or dealing with a communication clearly. You have the Ten of Wands. So it's kind of like you don't know if you're receptive to it or not. You don't know if you want to accept it because it's kind of like if I hear this, if I take accountability, if I do do this, it's it's going to put you in a position to where it's going to be like this exposing internally or exposure type period. Ooh, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Let me hurry up. Where we at? Let's hurry up. Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Yes, yes. We went from the four, which is six, seven, negative one, negative one. Negative one is the independence. So it's like your independency, need of nature has worked against you. Like somebody may have a one-man motive in this person. So it's kind of like somebody may have felt like they were by themselves in the midst of the group of people who did not accept them, of people who did something. This could be you being very driven by this energy where it's kind of like, no, they didn't accept me. They didn't fuck with me. Or it could be a person that's kind of like this. You hear me say this feeling, ooh, I feel the vengeance off the back of this. I'm telling you, it's making my stomach hurt. I got to go boo-boo. Sorry. But uh, this is this. So that's why I said it could be a person, if you're getting happy or old relationship, something karmic or, you know, dealing with an old karmic lover. Like, this is a comp competition, competitiveness, arrogancy, boisterous, jealousy, needy, show-offy. Seven of Wands needing to make a stance and protect. This is the song that doesn't end. Or that behavior has cut you off from people. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the King of Cubs, and the Ten of Swords. That's why I say, yeah, yeah. Uncompromising. 
unwilling to um ooh, I hate this uncompromising because I'm gonna clarify this in the end. Uncompromising three of pentacles, the moon, and the king of cups and the ten of swords. You hear me say very apathetic. You hear me say about pain and situations of resistance or certain things that has happened to you or in the instance of life. Period. I'm telling you, this just gives me like the person where they be like, yes. You know, you got some people that be talking on <laughs> when they go to. <sighs> What's that shit? You know how they see people where they talk about crimes and stuff like that and they be on the TV and you got the person that's very distorted in the black and they got a voice, that type of energy. Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups reversing the food. That's why I say yes, yes. Anywho, going back to that energy, I want to say this clarifying that because you got King of Wands, Queen, uh, Queen of Wands. This is how somebody is leading. This is how somebody's coming off. This is where you hear me say when it comes to the feminine energies where people act like they care. Oh, girl, how you doing? And they all in your business and they do shit to fuck you over and fuck you behind your back and all these different types of stuff. And they abuse you and they take your kindness for weakness or they take and they don't care. And you hear me say this is the five of wands. It is the eight of wands. And then it's the chariot because over time, you hear me say this person has been isolated or uh, in a space of fear or panic or worry. Did they feel like they got to compete against you to win? Very passive aggressive. Ooh, somebody passive aggressive. Anywho, but I want to say this. Listen to this. Boom. If this story don't pertain to you or how you got your lover in a relationship, whatever's going on, it seemed like somebody a little bit salty and they finna come tell you something about your partner. Period. If you was the mean person, if you was experiencing this type of person where you was the mean girl, the mean guy, the bully, or whatever the case may be, you may come upon, see someone, interact, whatever the case may be to at this moment, but you may have this encounter with a person and you don't know how you may deal with them or how they may deal with you, period. Because it's kind of like the karma's kind of a little tricky. You don't know. It's undecided. <sighs> On the meantime, if you know you was the asshole, you was this type of person trying to correct, correct the wrong try, that is being called wrong about it. Somebody doesn't know what is in their moral compass alignment or what is their sense of truth of reality. So the that, Gemini, who I see why y'all been over there. This is the song that does in it. I don't want, um... I don't want um you to not listen to a sense of truth to where you get smacked with a reality so goddamn hard. That's what I said. The song cut off out of my head, but any other time as I was getting through, it's kind of like possibly somebody, it could be anxiety or worry about something or dealing with something. It's kind of like, okay, this is the song, like trying to sing or trying to find some type of peace with something internally that is kind of like it's avoiding the issue. So now when it's avoided, it hits that point of where you smack with a sense of heart reality. So that's why I said check yourself. Watch if you ain't giving into the E or spirit. If you know how you got your love or whatever's going on, somebody coming back trying to tell you some sense of truth about them. It does give me family drama, conflict, somebody else that wasn't accepted or didn't fit in with other people. And, and it's kind of like maybe somebody going to have to come to you or come through you or you feel like you got to go show them the reason why they had you fucked up or somebody's doing that to you. So that's why I said watch it. Watch it. <sighs> so other than that, though, um, that's it. That's it, y'all. I'm trying to see where the hair fun at. What it is. Y'all know what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said this it. Whoo! This is weird. So it's kind of y'all energy. Somebody else's, I don't know. It's y'all, somebody energy else's. You could be around somebody in a situation where you hear me say four pentacles. You hear me say resources, situations of people. This, this here, I'm telling you, this, 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 this emperor and the seven of swords. Ooh, that's a lot for me. That's a lot for me. That's a lot for me. That's all I got to say. So, yeah, that's kind of like that. But it's emotional accountability. So that's why I said, be honest. If it's something you getting over the hard time or you trying to look for, who, you know what I'm saying, like the sense of heightened paranoia of what's going to happen next or whatever the case may be, that's what it is. I would say be very mindful. Cleansings, be pretty up. Watchful witches. 
situations, dealing with people that surround you, people who come in or deal. Watch that, because I'm telling you, it's like somebody got a mean, jealous streak on them. And they coming in with the victim mentality. So I ain't pushing out no more for the night. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, we done. That's why I said we all can't change the things that we have done. But you can change the direction of where you're going. That's all I got to say. But I would say somebody got it. But they guilt sitting there holding it in, tangy insides up and all the different types of that ain't gonna help shit out. You gotta be honest and move forward. Just wanna know y'all I'm gone. Uh, I'm gone, because you know some sense of truth. You really do. And don't go tell the married man if you a Gemini, you watch this. Because I know too, and I know this person that's a Gemini. I know too. So please don't go tell him. Because I already know. I already dealt with it. Keep it to yourself. Anywho, uh, that's it. So gotta go. Because it's my super short show.